Last year, 18-year-old wrestler Alex Bowerson collapsed during practice. A fast-acting coach was able to revive him using CPR and an AED machine. He was able to receive medical attention. Here with us tonight, Alex Bowerson and Jennifer Shea, the program manager of the Beaumont Student Heart Check. Thank you both for being here. Thank you for having us. I Thank guess you. the first most obvious question, Alex, is what was that like? Can you walk us through that day? Yeah, so that day began off with my final for my one college class, which I was a dual enrollment student, and um, went great and everything. And then later in the day, around 3 o'clock, I got to wrestling practice, and we started off wrestling practice with just a nice jog. And I was probably about three minutes into the jog when I felt a tight pain in my chest suddenly. And then about 10 seconds later, I hit the floor. And then... It, to me, it felt like just like 30 seconds, you know, I did have a little experience regarding um, something close to my faith where I did see rings of fire, comfort and all that stuff. And oh, it was nice. it was it was a near death experience. And then I was shocked with an AED. It felt like I spun around real quick and um, I was suddenly on a stretcher and then I got moved. I got rushed to Henry, sorry, McLaren Macomb Hospital. And then I was moved to Henry Ford Macomb, where I received a subcutaneous defibrillator and was diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. How much in that moment are you just terrified, freaked out? Do you even understand what's happening in a sense? So at first it happened so quick when, at qu it happened so quick that you don't know what's happening. But then while I was having like this like weird experience where like I did see two, two angels with me, and it was very extremely comforting. I just felt at peace and like, it just felt like everything's gonna be okay, even though this has happened. And suddenly I was back and I was like, you know, I did feel really weak and stuff, but I just had this a feeling that like, everything's gonna be okay. I wanna talk so much about that, so you're gonna have to hang around. <laughs> but Jen, his coach was able to bring him back with the, with the AED. Do, you, yes. do a lot of people know how to use that? Is that, um, was this, Luck, well, not luck or, or godsend for Alex. The uh, coach was a cheerleading coach that just happened to be there that day uh, with her own students. And she was also an ER nurse. So she was in the, the perfect place, time, everything to bring Alex back. Yeah. Um, and so we do hope that all coaches know how to use an AED. Anybody mm -hmm. can use an AED. You only have to turn it on. It tells you exactly what to do. So you don't have to be really trained to use one. As long as there's one present, you open it up, and it's going to tell you what to do. And there's pictures to show you where to put the pads and everything. So, um, so we're hopeful that um, th his story also promotes uh, teams being prepared in case of a sudden cardiac arrest. And that leads me to my next question. I mean, his story now helps, in a sense, promote to prevent something like this from hopefully never happening again to another child, to mm -hmm. another kid. How important is it to get screened? And there's times I'm sure you had no idea that you had an issue or a condition. Right. It is very important because we have sports physicals that are required, but they don't give the same tests that a student heart screening does. So what needs to be done? So an EKG is, is the baseline testing, but we also give a quick look echocardiogram and our cardiologists interview each child for their health history and their physical. And so those testing all together gives them a good, good look at the heart. And we're looking for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which is what Alex was diagnosed with. But in looking for that, we find all kinds of other conditions too um, that we can refer a child back to their physician about and they can get further testing and help for the future. I know it's not super common, but I've heard stories in the past of young people falling out on the field or in mm -hmm. gym. So why isn't that just a part of that routine student athlete checkup to have yeah, your heart scan? I, th I think it's, it comes down to cost and insurance and things like that. And so um, it's, uh, we, will, we screen a lot of kids and we find a number of them that have problems, but not a huge amount. And so it's hard to get, um, insurance to cover costs for for something they're not seeing as mm -hmm. frequently as as you know we are yeah so. alex why is it so important for you to go through this experience and now say you know what i'm going to use this moment a difficult moment and help others yeah um as i have firsthand i know what can happen if you don't speak up about symptoms you're having and what happens if you don't get your heart checked i was a three-sport athlete i had very little symptoms i had minor chest pain I did pass out a couple times, but the, the inner football player in me was like, all right, wipe it off, next play. <laughs> and right. um, that's, that's what I did. That's the athlete talk. Yes. And um, it is, now that I know it's super important for to go get screened if you feel like something's happening and to speak up about symptoms. And 
I hope my message can be taken to the heart of a lot of athletes is make sure you're good, make sure you're okay, then get back to your sports. And I'd, I'd like to add, like a lot of times you don't know that you have, if you're not having symptoms, you don't understand that there's a problem. And yeah. some people with symptoms like Alex did, explain those symptoms away. I was dehydrated, I didn't eat enough today, I'm mm -hmm. just hot. Instead of actually telling their doctor or their coach so that they can get further testing. Wow. So you think maybe when he was passing out before it was related? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I see. Thank yes. you both so much yes. for being here.